Howdy folks, and welcome back to World of Warships with the Mighty Jingles. I must apologise in advance, by the way. It is going to be a bit of a short content week on YouTube this week. Well, with Comic-Con coming up this weekend, I'm going to be in London all weekend, so no videos this weekend, I'm afraid, and obviously with me being in London on Sunday, there's going to be no mingles with Jingles on Monday either. So, sorry about that, but it is unavoidable. However, um, in order to make up for it, I've got a special video for you today. This is a celebrity deathmatch video. It's myself in World of Warships from various games played over the course of the last couple of months where I've run into other YouTubers and had to kill them. <laughs> and as a way of apologising to them for it, giving them a shout-out uh, for their own World of Warships and World of Tanks YouTube channels. The first match, I ran into Ship the Nuts, who you might know from Des Games. He does a lot of World of Warships content, and this was actually on the very first day that World of Warships went into closed beta. I had used all of my Alpha Tester free XP to boost myself up the American Destroyer line and got to Tier 7 with the USS Mayhem. And this was, if not the first, then the second or third game that I played in it. As you can see, I'm, I'm very much alone on this flank of the map in a, a very fragile and very easily killed Mayhem class Tier 7 Destroyer. But I am at least providing some very valuable intelligence for my team as I've spotted a whole bunch of enemy ships and there go the carrier dive bombers over to engage that uh, battleship up ahead. There's also an enemy destroyer up there and I'm conscious of the detection range and I've found one of their carriers but I'm very conscious of the detection range of the Mayan. If I get within 7.8 kilometers of any of those targets they will spot me. So I'm very keen to keep my distance on that destroyer up ahead while still spotting these guys for our aircraft carriers. At the same time though, that enemy aircraft carrier up there is a very big and juicy target and it's going to be risky but if I can slip through this screen of escorts and approach that guy undetected, I can kill him. So that's who I'm going for. It's just a question of picking the right course to stay outside of the detection range of all of these enemy ships. And as long as nobody else comes around... Oh, and suddenly a wild YouTuber appears. It's Ship the Nuts. <laughs> And Torpedo's selected, he's spotted me, he instantly knows the trouble that he's in. He drops smoke, he turns, he's going to be launching his own torpedoes, I get two spreads away. He's in his Farragut, he's launched torpedoes, I've hit him, I've set him on fire, he's seen the torpedoes in the water, he's desperately manoeuvring in order to avoid them, he's not going to hit me with his torpedoes, I have of course been spotted, come on, come on, yes! <laughs> two YouTubers enter, only one will leave. <laughs> And I didn't even notice who it was until the kill message popped up above the map there. Ship the Nuts has been sunk by Jingles. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry Nuts, it's nothing personal. <laughs> of course I've been spotted, so I need to get the hell out of here. I've obviously dropped my own smokescreen, and I seem to have made it out, more or less, untouched. So, uh, Ship the Nuts nil. The Mighty Jingles won. <laughs> That's not what you want to see when you're steaming around the corner of, uh, of an island with so many enemy ships well inside gun range. Suddenly, a Farragut-class destroyer right in front of you. Oh. But, uh, yeah, there was no way... There was no way we were both getting out of that alive. Somebody was going to die. So, that was Ship the Nuts from Des Games, having a very unfortunate and early exit in his Farragut-class destroyer. Uh, links to all of the other YouTubers who are featured in today's video in the video description. I do recommend you go and check them out. Now, I'm being a bit cheeky here, because I have no backup. My ass is hanging right out in the breeze over here, although I am shielded by the two smoke screens that we both dropped. Um, I'm emerging from my own smoke screen at the moment and I'm trying to reacquire all of these ships. There were at least two battleships, one carrier, two cruisers and a destroyer up here. And the torpedo bombers coming in and they're on the map! There! Oh crap! Okay, well I found the carrier, but the carrier is not my biggest problem at the moment. It's that battleship! Oh, and that hurts! And I'm on fire and he's knocked out a gun, but my guns aren't going to save me here. My torpedoes are. Because while I may be within the range of his secondary batteries, and I am going to take a pounding, he is so close that there is no way he can possibly avoid this torpedo spread. And, yeah. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> and, and again, 
come around the corner of an island and the last thing you want to see at that kind of range is a Mayhem class destroyer because <laughs> one way or another one of you is going to die. Now the enemy carrier captain was really sneaky here and I made a bit of a mistake because I've still got my anti-aircraft guns turned off in order to not give my position away by shooting at things like those dive bombers and I saw his torpedo bombers fly over me and head off in the other direction but he turned them around and look at this oh no <laughs> I was watching the torpedo bombers but I saw them flying off in the direction of my fleet so I turned my attention onto the dive bombers while forgetting to turn my aircraft guns back on again and he doubled back with the torpedo bombers and finished me off obviously very very early in the closed beta of World of Warships. Dropping the torpedoes at that range, now, they'll just do no damage because they won't have time to arm. But uh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> a, a short but glorious game in the Tier 7 Mayhem class American Destroyer with uh, Ship the Nuts from Des Games, my first victim. Hurrah! As you can see in chat there, I wasn't that impressed with the Mayhem at first, but um, uh, it's not that bad, actually. It's not that bad. The Benson is a much, much better destroyer, and the Farragut at Tier 6 is a much, much better destroyer, but um, the Mayhan's not as bad as I first thought it was. I'll be doing some videos on the Mayhan at some point in the future. Our second set of victims in today's video are Hypnotoad and Blade, both of whom also run their own YouTube channels, and both of whom ended up on the enemy team during this match. This was obviously a hell of a lot more recent than the match that you just saw, which occurred during the very, very first days of the closed beta of World of Warships. This is after patch 0.3.1. In fact, this is me in my Omaha class cruiser, desperately trying to get my first win of the day. Six games in a row, all defeats, all draws, and never earned less than 1,500 experience. <laughs> This was actually getting quite frustrating. Uh, this was during the very recent Times 4 experience event to celebrate the uh, launch of patch 0.3.1 and all kinds of reduced cost special offers on the American cruisers. Of course, all of the cruisers that I already had. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see what happens during this game. Played this one pretty cautiously at first. Uh, we're quite weak on this side of the map. There's me, there's a Phoenix, there's a Murmansk, so I'm the highest tier, tier 5 in the Omaha. The Phoenix is a tier 4 light cruiser, and the Murmansk is a tier 3 Soviet um, armoured cruiser, and there they are. They're, there's Hypnotoad and Blade, and they're both in the USS New York battleship, tier 5 battleships. And you can see torpedoes have been launched from the Narrows up ahead, so there's an enemy destroyer up there as well. We can't see him, but we know he's there because there are torpedoes in the water. The Phoenix is turning away. You can see the carriers are giving some support up here. One of the fighter squadrons has been badly mauled. There's a damaged torpedo squadron heading north, presumably going after the other two YouTubers up there in their battleships. I've got my high explosive loaded at first, in anticipation of spotting that enemy destroyer who's lurking around up there somewhere. But I don't want... I mean, I haven't been spotted yet. Or at least I don't think I've been spotted yet. And I, I want to get as close as possible to that destroyer so that I'm not going to miss with my high explosive shells without being spotted on the way. However, it's possible I have been spotted. In fact, it's extremely likely that I have been spotted by that enemy cruiser. So that kind of ruins any chance that I had to ambush that destroyer. And you've got to take into consideration the probability that if I have been spotted in this position with an enemy destroyer lurking up there within five or six kilometers, he's probably going to be making a run on me. So, I'm going to need to be careful. That guy is just within range. And there's the destroyer, and he's coming for me. Yep, and he's well inside torpedo range. But, well... <laughs> It's not going to work out too well for him. There it is. Good hit. Set him on fire. Knocked out a gun. His guns aren't going to be the problem, though. He's turning. He's, there are going to be torpedoes in the water. I'll launch mine as well. I'm not really anticipating hitting them with the torpedoes, but it's going to force him to manoeuvre. Fire another barrage with HE. One more. Come on. There we go. Put him down. Now, his torpedoes are going to be in the water. Where are they? Which way do I need to turn? I can't hang around here. I've been spotted by a destroyer. Anybody who has me in their sights at this point is going to be aiming. And here come the here come the torpedoes. Okay, now this is going to this is going to take some fancy steering, because I'm actually sailing right into an island at the moment. So 
small course corrections. That's the trick. You don't want to swing the ship around too much and end up... And you can see there, throttle down, throttle down, let them pass ahead of me, into the turn, and... Yep, that'll do. Speed up, get the hell out of here. Damn, son, that was some fancy steering. So there's my first kill. A very unfortunate destroyer. Get some speed up, get out of here. Get back into cover. So your carriers are feeling very nervous there. There's nobody over here but myself and two other lower tier cruisers. And there's two, two <laughs> tier 5 battleships and another destroyer. And there were a couple of cruisers up there as well. All steaming down in this direction. So we're going to have support from the carriers, you know, if they want to live. And, uh, oh, there's Blade. He's taken some hits. Presumably the carriers have scored a couple of dive bomber and torpedo hits on him. And they're definitely working them over. So let's try to take advantage of that. Let's get in closer and see what we can do. So I'm going to head up to the gap in the narrows there. Uh, taking advantage of the various different islands to because these guys haven't seen me now I'm, they, they will have seen me on the map when the destroyer tried to finish me off, but I've I've managed to break contact I've managed to get some solid land masses between myself and anything that could still be spotting me So I am able to make an approach on these guys Hopefully without being spotted by anybody else and get some sneaky shots in and if I time it right I can fire some shots while steaming past through the gap in the narrows up there between those two islands and, uh, and do some damage without them being able to return fire. Which is important when you're in a cruiser, because the Omaha is a light scout cruiser. It doesn't have any armour. Those battleships do. Now there's two ways I can do this. Oh, enemy destroyer spotted ahead. Okay. Well, he needs to die. But the Phoenix up ahead is engaging him, and there's an, another friendly destroyer has moved in. So this guy's getting shot up by three different ships at the moment. And he's on very low health. And there we go, he's been taken out. So, two ways I can do this. I can go to the left, which will be the safer way of doing it. Or I can go to the right, which will be more aggressive and will enable me to fire torpedoes down the gap in the narrows up there. But I may end up sailing within range of their secondary batteries. And discretion is the better part of valour. I'm going to go the wide route and try to get a sneaky armor-piercing salvo off at one of these two ships on the way through. I'm going to need to be quick about it though because that island that I'm using as concealment from them is liable to block my shots. Unless I can get a shot off very quickly, no, these are probably almost certainly going to hit the island. However, the guns will be reloaded as I clear the island and if I can't get a shot at the one in front, I should be able to get a shot at the one behind. You can see the destroyer there had exactly the same idea. He managed to get some shots off as he steamed past the narrows. There we go. I think that's Hypnotoad. Get a barrage off. The gun's in front, occluded by the landmass, but the gun's at the rear of the ship. Good hit. Good hit. 2,600 damage. And they can't return fire. And that's the important thing. Because you don't want to get shot at by a battleship when you're in a lightly armoured ship, like the Omaha-class cruiser. And now, full speed ahead. And we're going to steam around behind them for a spot of, well, not very surprised, but sex, because they can almost certainly see it coming. <laughs> but <laughs> any kind of butt sex is good butt sex. Um, <laughs> if there are any children watching this video, I do apologise. <laughs> but we've got them surrounded now. Or we will have once I clear this landmass. We've got ships in front of them, including a battleship that's turned up to support. And we've got ships behind them. And... Um, well, they're not going to have a very good day. I don't know if you noticed the comment in chat there. From the guy in the Destroyer that I killed earlier on. First time I've ever met Jingles in a game, and what does he do? He kills me. <laughs> Sorry. Nothing personal, but, you know, you were there and you were trying to kill me, so <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and we're almost in range. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's not going too well for the other two YouTubers. Oh, no, not at all. Uh, I just hope there's something left for me to kill. Torpedoes going in. Oh, Blade's in serious trouble. He's, he's got to be the priority target here. We need to take him out. He's just fired his guns. He's probably not going to be able to get another salvo off, not with the amount of health that he has. It looks like he's been fired upon by the Murmansk-class cruiser that is up ahead of him. Can't quite see him from here. The Phoenix is focusing his fire on Hypnotoad. Hypnotoad returns fire. Blade is down. Hypnotoad kills the Phoenix. 
I thought at this point I was going to be next, but after killing the Phoenix, Hypnotoad is instead swinging the ship around and he's bringing his guns to bear on that Fuso-class battleship up ahead of him. So these guys are engaging in a gunnery brawl. I'm firing at him from behind. The Murmansk is also closing the range and off to the left-hand side of the screen, you can't quite see him. He is also going to be peppering with long-range armor-piercing shells. Hypnotoad, poor guy, he's been fired on from three different directions. You can see the fire coming in there from the Murmansk class tier 3 Soviet premium cruiser and at this kind of range most of my shots are coming in from directly above its plunging fire so I don't really have to worry too much about the very very strong armour on the side of the New York. In patch 0.3.1 armor became a lot more effective. It actually started working properly. So ships like battleships are no longer quite as vulnerable as they used to be to the rapid firing guns on cruisers, particularly at shorter ranges where you can actually angle your armor in battleships. And you can see the bounces there as I'm closing the range and my shots are actually striking the side of the ship and a lot of them are just bouncing clean off. And so he's making it hard work <laughs> it's not easy he is not going down without a fight i'm now within range of his secondary batteries and i've seen his gun turrets swing around and oh this is not good <laughs> this is not good at all come on come on he's nearly gone he's nearly gone finish him off finish him. yes i got him <laughs> three youtubers enter only one leaves <laughs> oh crap torpedo bombers okay I seem to... Oh no, dive bombers, even worse. Oh, that's not good. Dive bombers are a significant threat to lightly armoured ships like the Omaha. However, in patch 0.3.1, a new hull upgrade was made available for the Omaha, which significantly increases the Omaha's anti-aircraft firepower. And I have been hit, and I am burning in two different locations, but I'm able to get a number of kills, and they're... Oh, wow. Yeah, torpedo bombers as well. This is not good. This is not good, but I've shot down a bunch of the dive bombers, which reduced the potential amount of damage I was going to be taking. The torpedo bombers are swinging around, they're trying to catch me with a broadside beam on shot. Actually, no, they're going for the battleship. Only one of them survived, thanks to the combined anti-aircraft firepower of myself and the battleship. None of the torpedo bombers make it back to base alive, and it looks like the battleship managed to avoid the single torpedo that we launched as well. So I've taken significant damage, but I did kill a New York-class battleship. <laughs> so, <laughs> And it was Hypnotoad, so it's all good. So, now what am I going to do? The scores are even, this could still go either way, but suddenly the cap alarm starts going off. We're being capped, that's just made the decision for me. Luckily, the Omaha is fast, so... And I'm not that far away from the cap circle, so I do have the responsibility here to go back and attempt to do something about it. Fastest route back to the cap circle is going to be straight through the narrows and then take a left turn, so slow the ship down to avoid running aground. Yeah, that turns tight enough. Start speeding it up again. Battleship up ahead, making the same decision. Now, no friendly destroyers around to spot anything lurking out there, so I launch my scout aircraft. That's going to increase my view range. Uh, hopefully, those friendly dive bombers and torpedo bombers will also be able to detect anything that's lurking out there, attempting to intercept us as we head back towards the cap. Don't know what's in the cap. It looks like possibly a cruiser. Um, and enemy battleships, two of them steaming towards our cap as well in order to assist whoever's in there there's a cruiser over there as well battleship with me taking some pot shots at the guy at the back there careful not to run into the battleship it's pretty close but we don't actually collide enemy fighters we're going to have fighters going in to intercept them they're trying to head off our dive bombers as they go in for the battleship up front we've been spotted we've been spotted that's not good that's not good at all Extreme long range fire, but the island up ahead of me is going to work to shield me from his second barrage. I should, yep, scored some hits on him. Scored some hits. Two battleships both steaming towards the cap at full speed. And again, at this kind of range, my armor piercing shots are much more effective than they are if I get closer because it's plunging fire. It's coming in from straight above and straight through the relatively thinly armored decks of the battleship. But I can't afford to hang around getting in a gunnery duel with this guy. Trying to avoid his return fire. Maneuvering, maneuvering. Yep, missed. Oh, took a big hit there, took a big hit. He set me on fire, that's not good. And another hit, but it just hit the superstructure, did minimal damage. But, oh, wow, no, that's not good at all. The fire is out, but I have taken a lot of damage from that battleship, and they're not stupid. They know exactly what they need to do here. They've got to stop us from getting back and resetting that cap. And there's the enemy cruiser in the cap circle. And the bad news is, it's a Cleveland. And look at what Hypnotoad's saying in chat. 
right? I I'm holding Hypnotoad personally responsible for what happens in this game, all right? He's saying one of us is going to win, so either my losing streak is going to end or his is, all right? <laughs> so <laughs> remember what he said there when you see how this battle ends up. Oh, and I've taken a big hit, and that's the battleship again. He's knocked out a couple of gun turrets, my torpedo tubes are gone, but more critically, my steering is gone, which means I cannot manoeuvre to avoid the return fire from this Cleveland. And I've just used my damage control ability to set out the fire that he inflicted on me the first time he hit me. So I'm steaming in a straight line, the Cleveland has seen me, I've reset the cap, but I cannot manoeuvre to avoid the fire from the Cleveland, and he has some seriously big guns, and lots and lots of them. I'm a sitting duck, I cannot manoeuvre, I've got him, but he's managed to get a second salvo away while my shots were in the air and he manages to finish me off as well. And unfortunately, we now only have three ships left against the six ships on the enemy team. So, my little adventure in the Omaha, in my never-ending quest to get my first win of the day in this thing, appears to be coming to a sudden and very unfortunate end. Although, I did manage to get the kill on a tier 5 battleship, a tier 6 cruiser, and whatever the hell that destroyer was at the start of the game. But, like Hypnotoad said, one of us has to win, so either my losing streak or his is coming to an end. And from here, it looks like his is the one that's going to come to an end. Let's have a look at what this Phoenix is up to. They outnumber us two to one, they're closing in on the cap. We've got a Phoenix there who's exchanging fire with something. This is the tier four American light cruiser. And there's, yeah, destroyer closing in on the carrier. Has he seen the Phoenix? Phoenix is on very low health. He's manoeuvring to try to potentially launch his torpedoes. He's opening up, and the Phoenix just gets annihilated by the battleship at the back there. Good shot from the battleship. Now we're down to two ships, one battleship, and one carrier. How can we possibly win this match? So our surviving battleship and aircraft carrier sticking together in order to defeat the destroyer attack on the carrier. The battleship's close-range secondary batteries finish him off. Battleship then peels off in order to try to get some gunfire in on the cap circle as the aircraft carrier is coming under dive bomber attack. The Independence, now a tier 6 aircraft carrier, he's attempting to get his own dive bombers off to do something about assisting the surviving battleship in resetting that cap, but enemy fire squadrons are all over him. He's trying to defend his own bombers with his own anti-aircraft firepower. The battleship up ahead there, he's, is he going to do it? There's not a lot of time left. Come on, he needs to get some shots in on the cap circle. Well, we're busy watching this aircraft carrier. Come on, Jamesy James, in the battleship. Land some shots on target. Come on, son, you can do it. You can do it. They're going to win. He's done it! He's reset the cap. And look at the timer. Hypnotoad, what was it you said? One of us is going to win this match. <laughs> So either your losing streak is coming to an end, or mine is. Well, it's not often you're right, <laughs> but you're wrong again. It's a draw. Everybody loses. Oh, World of Warships, you're so silly. <laughs> so, history repeats itself, and that was my seventh in a row, 1,500 or more experience defeat in the Omaha Tier 5 American... <laughs> American cruiser. I am cursed in this ship uh, over this weekend, just trying to chase that times four first win of the day XP. I did eventually get it, and we'll be showing you that in a future video. Uh, but Hypnotoad did quite well in that match as well. Well played to him in his New York class battleship uh, blade. Not so much. Shout out to this guy here. Three kills. Yeah, not too bad at all. It was a good match. It was a good match. It was a fun game. It was a good-natured game. There was some good banter going on between the two different teams there. I even had the enemy team cheering me on. <laughs> Which doesn't happen too often. So, there we go. That's a Celebrity Deathmatch in World of Warships. Four YouTubers enter. Only one will leave. In fact, uh, in the second match, none of us survived, so... <laughs> Big shout-out to uh, Ship the Nuts from Des Games in the first match and to Hypnotoad and Blade in the second match. Uh, links to all of their video channels in the video description. I hope you enjoyed today's video, folks. As always, take care, and I'll catch you next time.